But real talk, and I'm going to come to a conclusion. I think I'm going to come to a close on this one. I see why when I used to go to church all the time, the pastor would be like, I'm finished right now. I'm about to finish up. I'm about, I'm about to finish. No, not today. I, I understand now. Because sometimes when you start talking, you just can't stop. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Give you a boldness. Give you a word to say. You understand? You think I do this because I'm trying to be a hater? And that's what they're going to call any person that tells you to stop seeking worldly riches. They'll call you a hater. Or you just jealous. No, I care for your soul. You might want to watch those people that keep keep uh, worshiping you. Making your head bigger than all our doors. You might want to watch over them. You might want to watch those people that's using the brakes off you. And I guess y'all using each other because you like being worshipped. You look like a mob boss out there. You understand? They worship them too. But you know, why though? If you read closely in the Bible and you hear the stories about Lucifer, I'm going to go back to Lucifer. You hear why he failed. He wanted to excel his kingdom above God. And Lucifer, Lucifer fell before human beings were even created. So you can kind of see where the Tower of Babel relates to Lucifer. The Tower of Baal. They've been worshiping these, they've been worshiping the these false deities for a long time. The devil, the devil has so many names, it's ridiculous. They, didn't, they say Christ was martyred after this other person. In Babylon. This other kid, Nimrod and his son and... Supposed to had a left onto supposed to had a, a son that was reborn again and it, it didn't happen. You see, the enemy is so cunning and so slick. Let's put it this way: he knew a little something. God let him know a little few details, but God didn't let him know all the details. You understand? Continue on. County God let all his children know a little something. Miles. How do you think Satan came in the garden? Because he was already. Uh, he was his spirit was already drilling now. You see, most people look at the Bible from man ain't no way a snake, ain't no way a serpent uh, can talk to human beings. Hmm. Well, well, I'm gonna tell y'all some human beings. Stop talking to your dogs then. <laughs> Stop talking to your dogs then. That looks foolish too to me. Gucci, Gucci, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> just messing with you but you got to understand the spiritual realm and spiritual creatures the Bible even tells us that evil spirits can go into animals swine anyone swine herd of swine running down the hill anyone they just need a vessel hmm hmm spiritual and he can use anyone. You know, me truly, personally, don't think you can sell your soul, but you can lease it out to the devil. Because I believe as long as anybody lives here, but I also know there's a such thing that calls blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which there's no return from. Most people try to dwarf it down. You know what they're trying to say? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say what it says. There is a point of no return according to Jesus Christ. So be careful with your soul. I believe you can lease your soul. But I believe if a lot of people step into their anointing, me included, and they start exercising those devils, and they kick them out, and kick them out to that uh, snake that they came out of and crush his head. Do you understand? A lot of people, you look at these stars, I used to be mad at them too, like, man, they nothing but devil worshipers. Then I'm starting to understand, Lord, they need prayer too. They need exercising. Just like some people in our family need exercising. Trying to get rich don't exercise nothing. That's all it does, and the devil knows that. He's been deceiving people since the beginning with lust of the flesh. Take Abraham and Sarah. When Abraham said, Yeah, I sleep with the maid servant. 
I bet nobody didn't notice the lust in that. You didn't catch that? Did you catch that? Did you not catch it? That spiritual wickedness that came in and told Abraham to sleep with his maidservant. And maidservant, he just willingly said, okay. Because he probably already wanted to do it. But anyway, I ain't adding the scripture. <laughs> Before you even try to stuff on my head in regards to that. He did it. So he gave in. Oh, okay then. He gave in the temptation then. How about that? That sound better? He gave in to temptation. It happens to the best of us. Yet he was still chosen. But you're going to find something about God's chosen. He always send something their way. Always. Jesus, the disciples, Samson, Moses, his own brother and sister slandering the man behind his back. You know, you're going to realize persecution come. David, old homeboys, his right hand man, men plotting against him sometimes. One thing about when you're chosen, the devil gonna stay on you. But we got God. Now, people don't realize with all the riches and stuff that David had, and points of his life, he was miserable. But he called upon the Lord, and the Lord sustained him. I don't think he caught that. I don't think he caught that. You're too focused on Solomon. I wish I could have a thousand wives. <laughs> Good luck with that. You see what happened with him? Do you understand, people? Wake up. Wake up, children. God loves you. And I'm not telling you he can't bless you financially because he can. I'm not telling you he can't give you that house of your dreams. He can. In a quarter mile, I'm saying, right onto don't be Road. so focused on the dream and lose focus on the God. Do you understand, people? What is it all for? His glory. Have a blessed day. Take this. Run with it. Meditate on it. Right onto Beasley Road. And everything's gonna work out fine for you. You understand? By the glory of God, people don't realize when God talks about his promises. Continue on Beasley Road for half a mile. Right after he talked about his promises, he talks about his curses. And most people are like, well, Jesus died for our sins, so we're no longer under the curse anymore. If you if you do break some of his things, you're cursing yourself. It's simple. You're cursing yourself. It is. The blessings and the curses are still in play. I just want to let you know that. So be careful. Work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. And you'll be okay. If you have no fear of God. If you have no fear that there's a hell. If you believe that there's no heaven. And you believe this is heaven here. You might end up somewhere you don't want to be. Have a blessed day. Mile, you will arrive at your destination.